happening today. A family may be forced to tear down their home. Take a look at that. This is the 9,000 square foot Washington Township mansion. It's been an ongoing battle for years. Seven Action News reporter Nima Shafe joins us live from Macomb County Circuit Court to explain what this battle's about. And Nima, if this family doesn't tear down this house, what other options do they have? You know, that's a good question. Good morning, Anu, and good morning to all of you at home. 9,000 square feet of home that we're talking about here in Washington Township in Macomb County. The only other option, Anu, to answer your question, tear down part of their home. How do you do that? Part of your home or all of it? However, this is the home. Let's go ahead and take another look at it. 9,000 square feet of a home in Macomb County, Washington Township. This is a home that Simon Palusha built for his family about nine years ago. Later this morning, Simon Palusha will be in court facing Judge Mark Swatalski. He's facing contempt of court charges for failing to meet a July 1 deadline. That deadline called for Palusha to come into compliance with the neighborhood deed requirement. That requirement, get this, would require at this point the family to demolish part or all of their home. The latter obviously would force them to completely rebuild, and it's an option that Palusha says is causing a lot of stress on his family. Now, back live here outside the courthouse this morning, the case will be heard again before Circuit Court Judge Mark Swatalski and Swatalski does not have the discretion to approve a deal to avoid full or partial demolition. You may recall the Michigan Court of Appeals ruled uh, that at least part of that home had to be demolished. Now, at this point, it is decisions that Palusha and his family has to make. Count on 7 Action News to keep you updated on those changes as the developments come about today. We're live this morning in Macomb County. I'm Nima Shafe for 7 Action News.